Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is James and you're watching Wonderful World. And if you keep dart frogs, then you know that one of the funnest times to watch dart frogs is at feeding time. But let's face it, breeding fruit flies and keeping a constant supply of fruit flies is a pain. Have you ever wondered if there was a different feeder insect that you could feed to your dart frogs? Or something you could offer them so that you could give them a little bit more of a varied diet? Well, there is, and it's actually one of the most easy feeder insects to breed. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to culture bean beetles. Bean beetles, also known as bean weevils, are one of the easiest feeder insects to breed, and they make excellent feeders for reptiles, amphibians, and fish that prefer very small prey items, particularly adult and larger sized dart frogs and tarantula slings. Bean beetles are tiny beetles about the same size or just a little bit larger than a hidei fruit fly. They lay their eggs on dried beans, and when the eggs hatch, the larvae burrow into the beans and eat the inside of the beans while they complete their metamorphosis. The process is so simple that there's just no other feeder insects that's this easy. All you need is a starter culture of bean beetles, which is easy to buy online. I got one from Josh's Frogs. You'll also need a deli cup with a vented lid, just like the ones you would use for fruit fly cultures. A roll of cardboard from paper towels or toilet paper. and a bag of dried black-eyed peas, which is very inexpensive at the grocery store. And that's all. Then all you have to do is place a couple inches of the beans in the cup, and use the cardboard roll from the existing culture to tap out about 25 to 50 beetles into the new culture. Add the cardboard tube and close the lid and you're done. That's all you have to do. They don't require any other food or water. Your bean beetle culture will do fine stored in a temperature from 70 to 80 degrees, but don't let them get over 85 degrees. 
although they'll breed faster if kept at higher temperatures. And the life cycle of a single generation of bean beetles can take from 100 to 110 days to complete. Depending on the temperature where you keep your bean beetle cultures, in a certain number of weeks, your culture should be booming with beetles. One bean beetle culture will last for several weeks and even months, but at certain intervals, you'll want to start a fresh culture so you can maintain a cycle of healthy bean beetle cultures. An important note to make is bean beetles can be invasive and have an impact on agriculture, and in some states it's illegal to raise bean beetles, so you might want to check your local laws. And in any case, when you have a bean beetle culture that has stopped producing and is ready to be disposed of, Put the culture in a freezer for a minimum of 72 hours to kill any remaining beetles or larvae before disposing of it in the garbage. It's also important to note that while bean beetles are high in protein and make a good feeder for dart frogs, they should only be fed to adults and larger species like Tinctorius and Phyllobates. So use some caution. The larger size and harder exoskeletons of the bean beetles can cause impaction in juvenile frogs and smaller species of dart frogs, where Melanogaster fruit flies would be more appropriate. I would also not recommend feeding your dart frogs only a staple diet of bean beetles. I would still stick to fruit flies as a staple diet, but use the bean beetles as a way to vary their diet. It is good for any reptiles and amphibians to offer them a varied diet and change things up every now and then. So keep your eyes open for a video I have coming up where I'll show you some different ways that I've been trying to vary the diets for all of my reptiles and amphibians. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel or ring the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And as always, until the next video, I look forward to seeing you again soon.